Good afternoon, welcome to me, my YouTube channel. I'm just going to tell you a story what happened to my car when trying to do steering angle recalibration. So, uh, we have had to change the steering rack on my car, and if it, was, it was alignment was done and it was driving fine. But after two weeks, it began uh, getting harder on one side of the steering and soft on the other one. And one day, the steering completely failed. It became so hard, it was completely manual. So uh, we got a um, Ron's diagnostic machine. We tried to do the recalibration, the thing failed and threw up extra coats of ABS and um, uh, the unbrake light was stuck on and the skid was on. And um, uh, we tried uh, we, we tried launch diagnostic, a very professional one, it cost about 1500 it failed. We then went on to try uh, Max Pro, we tried it as well, it also failed. Then we were, pleaded, we were giving up and we thought that perhaps it's uh, the Sterling uh, power supply controller. So we were gonna take it out. We began taking the dashboard off. The steering, uh, uh, st steering power controller is just down here. You do need to take the dashboard off or you can lower the steering. You should be able to access it. So we were gonna take it out and spray some the bridge for you to see which works. But someone, I just remember say, well, long time ago, we had a similar problem with the uh, Toyota Yaris. We could not do steering angle recalibration. And the problem was because of the, the battery. So this morning, I got up and I got my IMAS uh, power pack. This one, it's a very stein one, but does a job. And um, and um, I had to put this one on the battery. So I had to put this one on the battery. After putting this one on the battery, it was on the power. And uh, then I went on to do the recalibration. The recalibration worked. I did the ABS res um, um, system reset, everything worked and uh, the problem is now resolved and i don't have to change the steering power steering power supply controller so basically uh this is very important i just wanted to share with you guys and um, if you're doing anything to do with recalibration either be air breathing abs or anything uh, please 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 make sure that you add extra power to your battery put a jump pack on top but do not do not jump back from another car just use a normal jump pack otherwise your your recalibration or reset may not go accordingly or basically let me keep it make it clear or uh, let me make put it this way if you are doing anything to do with reset or recalibration and your computer keeps on failing to con to do it or uh, communication communication error then consider adding extra power to your vehicle before continuing all right guys i hope this helps somebody and uh, please and um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video of course if you feel this video is not bad i do apologize i am not a professional video maker i use my phone to make my videos and uh, as such i'm prone to make bad videos you know and and that's me you know and some of you you might get upset because of my accent unfortunately speaking to me is a bonus i never spoke until i was three years so speaking has always been a challenge to me if, even now be able to speak yeah i feel i i i i i, 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 um, I feel i i feel it's, i feel good like i can speak um going back 10 years ago i, I dare even try to make a video i would not have made I could not construct a sentence. I could not speak. You know, and that is the truth. For you bullies, please consider whether your actions are good. Boring is bad. Whether it be in school, in, in places of work, on social media, or anywhere, please don't bully other people. It's bad. All right, guys. Have a good day.